Hello, you freaking tube. How is everyone today? I'm the first giant, and welcome back to The Last of Us Part 2. So when we last left off, we dropped off our, the people who rescued us, who I thought we were, we were kind of becoming friends with, sort of, even though we hadn't spent that long with them. They rescued us from the scars. We dropped them off in here. And then we just kind of left. So now we're on our way over there. And it's raining, which is always nice. Is this the one we just came out of? I don't know. Maybe, yeah. So we gotta go over this completely inconvenient. Let's do it. We gotta go to the aquarium. We go over that this conveniently placed box crate container shipping container we go over the fence and we can't go back over the fence so now where do we go <laughs> Should have just taken some sort of shelter for the night. <laughs> Waited till the rain stopped, but... Okay, if we're not doing that, then... Great. Oh, a door that opens. And another workbench? They're literally just cramming workbenches on top of one another. I'm, I mean, great, I love that, but, like, Ellie never got this kind of special treatment. This is... And then what's that? I didn't get to grab that. Hey. Equip. Ah, there we go. So I would like that to go there. Awesome. Nothing. Where did we come in here? Ooh, we wasted all of these. <laughs> oh, hey, look at that. We wasted all of these. Uh. 
on the zombies. Anyway, let's take a look at this and see what we can do. Can I? Yes. That sounds awesome. And we can't do anything else. Cool. Now, what? We gotta, oh, here. Well, that's not good. Grab. There we go. Uh-oh. There we go. I hear them moving fast towards me, but then I don't hear them in the listen mode. Okay. There we go. That works. Those are the ones that you can't hear with the listen mode. Ah, okay. I get it. That's a difficult decision to make. Is that all of them? Nope. And... Oh, wow. Somebody just left some... Uh...
explosive ammo sitting around. Here comes a clicker. No. Uh -oh. That works. That happened. <laughs> right. No sunset to follow. At least there's a Ferris wheel. Darn it. <laughs> so <laughs> that's one way to take them out. <laughs> Is this the night, the same night that... Uh, Ellie was out before she killed... Because if it is, like, that means we're, like, within spitting distance of her. I feel like I just stole a coin from a child. Considering that that is not necessarily that that's definitely not an adult sized skeleton Okay, should be a straight shot from here. Okay, maybe not literally <laughs> Oh Shoot straight shot my butt Maybe not literally within spin distance, but <laughs> I should have known. Oh, wow. They're just giving us like everything we could ever need to take on something. Uh... Obstructed by boxes. We don't, we can't craft anything though. Oh. Yeah, this is... You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, I got that.
Are we actually gonna end up within a spitting distance? And just miss her by that much? Why are they giving me all of these supplies? Ammo and things to make weapons with and... This isn't going to be that easy, is it? There's going to be one of those, um... Are we going to get a bow? I feel like we wouldn't have picked up that arrow unless we were going to get a bow. But we're going to be like... Text at option. Will, I'm going to crash. Despite the adrenaline of this whole shit storm, this flu thing is kicking my ass. Please let me catch a few hours of sleep so I can fight this thing. I cradled our little bee and put her to sleep. I think she's pretty shaken up by the violence of it all. She asked, Mommy, why did you and Daddy push all those people? I told her that it was the only way for us to get on board. She nodded, but I don't think she fully comprehends. Maybe. Circle button. Back. Triangle button. Flip. I should have said something different. I don't know. Anyway, if she wakes up before me, read some of her books with her. That seems to calm her down. Hopefully you were able to get the ration situation sorted out. Love you, Quinn. Circle button. Options. Text to speech. Yeah, I feel like we wouldn't be just all of a sudden picking up arrows if we weren't going to get a, a bow. Of some sort. But, uh... I also am kind of wondering if we're going to be fighting one of those uh, big, large, whatever they call them. Can't remember the name, but I don't want to do that. I just had to scratch my leg and accidentally almost chucked my brick what the heck is that sound Not a bow, but... Okay. Did you kill all those people? <clears throat> Wait a minute. Oh, this is not good. Oh. Zombies. I like this thing maybe even better than the regular bow. Oh! Eat that, you stupid zombie! I feel like I should have explored further to out the other way. But I didn't because I didn't realize... <laughs> I didn't, um, because I thought that that was the right way, and then this ended up being the right way. I kind of almost wonder if they're going to end up doing a thing where we end up working with Ellie at the end. <laughs> Wouldn't that be just a 
twist of... I mean, considering that we're able to play both, be a crazy twist, but why are we getting so much time playing both characters if we weren't going to be? Exit options. Thank you for your help with that infected passenger. We're lucky to have someone with your training and grid aboard. My crewmates are useless. And I don't agree with the captain keeping the weapons locked away. We can't stay willfully ignorant that we have infected passengers on board this ferry. Weapons storage is on the aft top deck, combo 90-77-01. Your crossbow is in there. I trust you on this. Circle button. Hmm. L2 button. Z 90, 77, 1. By turning the text to speech and audio oh. text to So does that mean... There's going to be a vault that's going to have more ammo or what? Wait a minute. Oh, that's where we go. Wait, can we not? Oh, yeah, we can't. Okay. What happens if we shoot him in the leg? I don't want to waste crossbow ammo on that, but... Oh no. So shooting them in the leg... I didn't have the effect I was... expecting. I expected it to be more like some of those other zombie things where you can, like, incapacitate zombies by shooting them in the leg. What can we make? those yeah, another child's coin <laughs> only because like with the teddy bear oh interesting I hear more infected. Oh, yeah, I'll take those. Thank you. Thank you.
Ooh, interesting. Can we pop one through the window? Boom. Who's the best? Oh, it broke. So the recovery rate is way higher, but they do still break eventually. I think I got everything in there. Sometimes I feel like I didn't explore an area enough. It is, I think. Oh boy. Just, wow, I gotta be, <laughs> uh, D great. Oh no. Okay. All right. Yep, I'm 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 dead. I'm dead. Okay. That's great. Uh... <laughs> Am I supposed to sneak past this or what? I don't... I don't know. Oh. Hmm, wait a minute. Might not be the most amazing thing to do.
that works. Sometimes it's good for the big artillery. The heavy duty stuff. Sometimes the small stuff just won't cut it. So weird running on an angle. Okay. Great. Now what? Oh, hey. Let's grab that. Oh, interesting. October 2nd, 13. It's a manifest, I think. For our schedule. To get onto the boat while we loaded through violence, but evac successful. 35 souls aboard. Captain A.J. Malagor in command. October 3rd, 13, 1450. Two passengers complained of seasickness. Set up a makeshift infirmary on the lowest deck for them to rest. October 4th, 13, 1338. Radio check-in with Vancouver Port. Good news so far. No signs of infection among their population. October 5th, 13, 0730. Passenger Barnes disappeared from the infirmary. Crew dispersed to search for him. October 5th, 13, 1450, passenger Barnes found. Discovered to not be seasick, but infected. Passenger Josephine Robert intervened, wrestled him, slash, it, overboard. October 5th, 13, 1950, uh. Ms. Roberts' request to have everyone re-examined by ship medic denied, we don't have the appropriate scanners anyways. Her subsequent request to hand the weapons also denied, I'm not going to let paranoia lead to disaster. Oh, no. October 6, 13, 1835. Despite protests, additional passengers claiming of various ailments, headache, indigestion, dizziness, all temporarily quarantined in the infirmary below decks. October 6, 13, 2017. Visual landfall of Seattle. Tried radio channels to inquire about refueling, but no answer. We'll press forward. October 6, 13, 2100. Everyone in the infirmary has been executed. Those people were not infected. This is cold-blooded murder. No one is going to disembark until we find the responsible party. October 6, 13. I suspected it was Roberts. We shot each other. I can't imagine she'll survive. If I pull this thing out, I'll probably bleed out in minutes. Going to steer toward the shore so everyone aboard can get to land. Port is closed. Need to stay. I hear infected outside my door. Was she right? Uh -huh. Oh. Well, that happened. It is like a it's like a journal log book type thing. Great. Text to speech. Here we go. 
All right, up and out. Let's try this again. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay. This way. I know it's not really, but when they give you the option, it's always fun to try and, and I'm glad I did. Gotta climb on every car, cause you know. Okay, thank you. was lucky unlucky that gonna fall on my head you know they have to have something like that right no all right cool and out the other side And in here. <sighs> well, I guess we keep going. I don't think we can wait out the rain. We're almost here. But you know me, I gotta check everything. I believe we have made it to the aquarium. Oh, hey! Cool.
there's so much to look at that is really just not anything at all. Ow. I guess I should just go in. Probably end off the episode as soon as we go in anyway. Actually, before we go in... Because I'm gonna just continue in the next episode from right here, so... For now, thank you guys so much for watching, liking, and subscribing. Please share with a friend, and don't forget to click the notification button. May the power of the Holy Spirit be with you always, and that'll be all.